This wasn't our first time inside the huge plant in Lordstown that's now owned by Foxconn, but for a couple dozen Taiwanese investors and journalists, it is their first visit. And we are very excited uh, to, uh, to have them here to witness uh, the progress of our EV. The company's chief spokesman, James Wu, led the private tour, which is visiting Foxconn plants across the U.S. The group was taken through parts of the facility that were never open to outsiders when General Motors had this plant. At one point, the group watched workers piece together the body and chassis of a new Lordstown Motors endurance pickup in an area aptly called the marriage zone. Wu says the company's goal is to eventually capture 5% of the global EV market. Definitely, I think most of the, the cars will be made here in 2025. A recurring theme in all of this for the investors, as well as the Taiwanese media that's here today, there is plenty of room at this facility for growth and additional business in the future. Besides the endurance, Foxconn has agreements with Monarch Tractor, Indy EV and Fisker, but is looking for more. We are looking for more staff companies, customers, and as well as the traditional car OEM. For now, the plant's 400 workers are building pickups as orders come in for them. But Wu predicts we will see production growing the next two years as more agreements are reached, which would mean more of these robotic machines will be needed and more employees will be recruited to meet that demand. In Lordstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.